Absolutely. And Down. Eric Roberts lead one to zero over Joey Tate. Oh, you'll cut it. Yeah, yeah. There we go. This is our second rack. We are here at the South Point Casino Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada for Absolutely. the 2017 BF Junior National Championships. The person who's racking is Joey Tate. He's trailing Eric Roberts. Who won? That man, that's, 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 I know it's special to you too because you won the, the Memorial Tournament. So yeah, to yeah. watch him uh, win the Sportsmanship Award, that's what it's all about. And Joey Tate crushing the Dr. Q artistic challenge <laughs> right, right. setting a record he set a record he said from dr pros. q said better than any Anybody. pros i've seen everybody. everybody and dr q is the real deal and congratulations to dr q hall of fame BCA hall of fame well congratulations deserved. absolutely and his wife yeah miss q absolutely he ain't doing it without her no hey we got the same wife i miss q too <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you do here, Bo? <clears throat> you got to cut this ball. You play the cue ball down. I think you... Uh, so he went the safety route. I, I don't know. I, th I felt like he had an opportunity to cut it, but you know what? He sees it better yeah, from his absolutely. angle. If that's if And that, he's playing his yeah. game. So yeah. Now, right here is a dilemma. What do yeah, you think here, he, buddy? You know, if he comes off the left side of the one, he can play safe behind the 7-2, but you do risk a potential scratch down there in the corner. How about that shot? And that is how you don't scratch. He he's left trying the to window, check. though. Is there? Yeah. Oh, airborne he window. He, he shook his cue. He shook right. his cue at the shot. Wow, this came out really tough. Your only two options here are to go completely airborne over the seven and the three mm -hmm. and make contact with the one, or you've got a, you've got a, uh, go past the seven, hit the end rail and spin it with mm. right hand spin to come two cushions Tough into shot. the one. So I guess Eric fooled me because he poked his stick at the shot like like he left the window, but Joey's shaking no, his no. head. Yeah, that, that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if he's doing this much, oh, he's got a one rail or sort of a sh you know short rail here. Oh, that's that's tight. He Bo, can shorten this ball Bo, up a if bit. If I was me, I I tie a ball. Up. I tie. I, a ball. I like your I like because, that because because yeah. you know what this guy is coming to the table right now. He likes to shoot. Yeah, yeah. You know and what I mean. And the balls are open. And and he's feeling it. He's riding mm -hmm. that wave. He's feeling it. He's yeah. confident as he approaches the table. So it's going to be tough action. These guys got it all from everything from the bridges to the stands just, to the stroke. It's all just, it's like it's built in. But looking, it isn't built in. We are These looking guys. at Billy Thorpe, Skyla Woodward, Shane Van Boning, yeah, Justin Bergman. Justin Bergman. We are looking at them right now. Yep. Look at this guy. Just, just using the pad, utilizing the lines. I know the words. Poise. Poise. It's his poise. It is. I'm yep. very, very impressed. Oh, that's going to be a slight overcut on the five. I don't know. I think he's, maybe a, avoiding that side yeah. pocket a bit, maybe. He, he, but he, he didn't stroke that how he normally strokes no, other balls. No, it's a little pokey. So yeah. he knew, he knew, yep. he knew. Joey's playing this rail first. He needs to get the cue ball off the rail here to get past the nine, and I, he's got there. He's got it. Um, he needs to run again back and forth. Yeah. We're now, this is a nine. tough shot. He's going to yeah. play this with right-hand spin. I mean, it does make the shot more difficult to pocket, but that's beautiful. Yeah. The reason he used that right to get past the nine. And get perfect in the corner. And get perfect in the corner. This is Joey Tate. Joey residing in Raleigh. North Carolina. A lot of good players. Good players out of North Carolina. He wants it to hold up. And he's going to finish this rack, and we're going to have a 1-1. One, one. And that's how it's going to be. 1-1 one, one battle. And, you know, with alternate break, it's who flinches. You get down to these last four or five balls with these Absolutely. kids, and you can consider it done if the balls are open. Absolutely. So. But when you're shooting 950s, it don't matter. There could be two racks of balls on yeah. the table. What I like is that, you know, Joey just shook that first rack off, came right back to the table, and yep. he's doing what he needs to do. So it is alternate break. It'd be Joey's break now. Both these guys, I don't think when they broke the balls, the, the cue ball even hit a cushion. Right, right. But they, they both have the science down. And on. Joey's super, super aggressive. There you go. Set up. A good little pop. 
And I think he's going to come up dry on this one, Rob. Um, yeah. And we've got we've got a, a little battle going on here with this yeah. two eights truck tied so up. So how about since it's early in the rack, can you bank the one and drive the cue ball towards the eight two? And play safe. Yeah, yeah. Right. I like that shot. You yeah. bank the one, right? I mean, you could bank it and go go saying. at it. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He might have a cut to get the cue ball three cushions around past the six. <laughs> he did the same shot we did. We just did it his way. Yep. Now the two does go. Right. Uh, but as far as his first shot here for Joey, he's playing safe here all the way. You gotta. You don't even try to pocket this ball. Trap him right behind the five-two back over there. Joey's Caught it smart. a little on the full side. And uh, he knew, he knew how I got to get him trapped behind those balls. He knows that, that Eric Roberts is playing on the same level as him. Absolutely. And, uh, and for your April Larson fans out there, Michelle Jang, the score is tied at one to one. One to one. There we go. We'll try to fill you in as much as we can, but we don't want to miss none of the action. Mm. A little pepper on that shot, Bo. Great demeanor. Oh, Joey Tate? No joke. The only thing, he's, he's, he does rise up a little bit sometimes. Right, right. You know what I mean? And that's, it's, you know, it feels like that rise up, yes. that never ends. It's no. something that you have to continue to work on for your, like, your whole game. You, you have a little bit of that. Yeah, yeah. And, but I you have worked to, it like, in. You have I to, know. <laughs> you've got to just steady work yeah. on it. Okay, you know, but 100 again. balls where. Is this the key ball right here? Yeah, it's a straight high cue ball. He might have to use a little bit of inside, but he's going to come straight at the six. I like yeah, his little he, touch. Yeah. I like that. Like he's backing off some of his power. But yeah, he wanted to be up he, a couple. Yeah. yeah, he needs a better angle. or He, he wanted to be some. three diamonds closer. Okay. Yeah. You know, that stroke, though, that's the stroke to make that ball. That's just a pinch off. Absolutely. He got back for the side pocket. Now Joey's looking at... A semi-long straight here in the corner, but the position is just a hanger. It's right. given. There's a toss-up here. I think he's going to go up table and back, at, depending on the angle. Sometimes you don't want to roll that ball soft in the pocket because it can slide. You, you I know. know, you. I know how I you shoot that. I missed so ball. many of those. This is going to be a long. He's, he's got an extension in the bag because I'd be pulling it out. Yeah. Well, he's going to bridge. He's going bridge. He's such a technical player. He's not going to. He's not going to leave. He's not going to leave anything for, you know, for Greg. Um, yeah, no. So Joey right now using the bridge. Bam, he's back up table. He's mm. going to have a thin cut on the nine I, here. I'm, I'm scared, Bo. Oh, man, this is such a tough shot. I'm scared. We've seen it all weekend, and we've seen, like, two people make if it. If he just slices this in the corner and no time taken, he's a bad man. Yeah, he playing this shot with inside, a rail first. Now, I, he hit it hard enough to get, you know what I mean? He hit it hard enough yeah. where the nine's not going to sit right in front of the pocket. Okay. Just, Coach Bo, bank yeah. in the corner, played the cue. Yeah, he's banking this ball. Where are you playing the cue ball? Back up table. Where? I say right in the, uh, the diamond logo. There you go. So, I mean, it gives you a chance to win. And, and you got the other option. If you don't feel like you got a chance at the bank, you just cut it and play the he's firing. separation. He's firing. And it's gonna hang, and there is just wow. the difference between that going in. I mean, is a breath. I mean, it's nothing. Was that the appropriate speed? Yeah, I think it was pretty good because if the cue ball, I mean, maybe a hint more, mm -hmm. right? Because if he would have missed that, the, the nine's gonna bank across right. the table. I like that he was aggressive at it, though. All right, we're two games to <coughs> one here. And we know that somebody's going to be eliminated, and we don't want to see it. But right, this is what it is. It's uh, two-one. Eric Roberts, Joey Tate. 
in the chair, this alternate break. And uh, Eric cut those balls a little yes, bit, did. and the cue ball is going to get trapped on the end cushion. He made two balls, maybe he gets a bump. Two balls down, and he's got he's got a lot of distance, but I think he can make contact with the one here. Right. Now Eric's liable to try to cut this ball in any corner. Right. He got two corners down there. If he can't shoot it in the left, uh, the top, excuse me, on the on yeah. the video top right. How about that? Oh man, that's what he's doing. How about, how about center pocket? And how about position? Wow. Hey, here's a twofer. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. How many of these did he make last night? Everyone he shot yeah, at. Yeah, everyone he shot at for sure. Ooh, 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 ooh. How about and this the deuce bonus? is going by. Go bonus. And we'll see if he can do it again on this three. This is a long shot. You got to stay down. He can play the three ball and the six ball in the side pocket. I like playing. Well, that's maybe what he tried. He did. He just hit the wrong side of the ball there. I think he rushed that one a, a little, little bit even faster than Eric Roberts style. He, he, yeah. wants to, he wants to get that adrenaline back right. in. And, and, you know. Now, what Joey, I don't know if Joey is a fast player. No. But he's playing with some speed now. Yeah, you know, I mean, Eric. What what can happen is with quick players, they can they can sometimes dominate the table, mm -hmm. force you, almost force you into playing play fast. Tempo, you don't even right? know you're you're playing that tempo. And uh, I've had that happen to me quite a few times. And but I've also been able to turn that around and switch. Now that I know, you're, you're transforming. You play what you need to play. Around. Oh, just a little undercut. Yeah. Slight undercut on the three. And uh, Joey's going to be looking at sort of a little hindered bridge here. So he's going to have to elevate slightly, which does make the shot a little more difficult. Absolutely. Uh, it does. And he's going to have to use a little bit of spin. I, I, he could come straight up table, but he's going to have an angle, a back cut on the five. I like playing this with left hand spin. Oof, this is a tough shot for him as a left hander. That is just a, that's just a brutal that shot. Pocket. Yeah, what that happens, pocket. you hit that left spin, you're elevated, and it masses before it gets to the ball. Mm -hmm. Well, yourself being a taller player, you have access to balls that people don't. Right. So right. when you explain about body position and things like that, it makes sense. Yeah. That's, that's an uncharacteristic. Yes, yeah, that's an unfortunate. Right. You know yeah. what? If I'm Eric, bathroom time. Yeah, yeah. And you said it. It's not going to be the the guy who makes 50 balls, makes jump mm -hmm. shots, and mm -hmm. breaks the balls it's hard. Not. It's going to be the guy who makes the least mistakes. It's like what you said. You have to learn how to win. And the guys who learn how to win, not to be repetitious, are going to be the winners. Yeah, absolutely. If this ain't working, you switch to the other thing. And there's so many facets to win. See, he, he got a little long. He got a little long on his shot. Though. But if he bumps that eight, he might shoot him both in the same pocket. Yeah, he can do that. I think he's, if he doesn't have a straight in, I mean, so you got two options. You either shoot it straight in and the position's easier, or you cut the, cut it in the side and you take a little more difficult position because it's going to. See, that's what, I, that's what I meant because I saw that. If yeah. he would have tried to pop it so the eight, eight kicks him, he would have yeah. been all right. Yeah, yeah I, I like that. I like probably rolling that but, side. So now I think we're even in, in the, the, know, error the error department, and then I think both of these pairs, look at his speed. Look at that speed. Bro. There we go. Very nice. He's out there far enough. He just used the tangent line here. Mm -hmm. Straight down table, do back favor, up at the nine. Do you favor one rail, Bo? Or you go yeah, one rail. Okay. Yeah, one. Because sometimes you say two rails. So in yeah, that yeah. instance, you like the one rail and float yeah. back to the middle of the table? Yep. If he had a little more angle where he had to go into the cushion a little bit, then yeah, that would be better. There you go. But one thing with Eric, you know, I know this is a this is a semifinal match. This is the Junior Nationals. but. When he starts getting that cue ball, another diamond and a half, two diamonds closer to the balls, easy peasy. he'll stop missing. Yeah, yes. I mean, because he doesn't miss those now. No. And here's here's what happens. He don't miss a lot. As a period. young player, and you're a ball pocketer, yes. you shoot those long shots, long shots, and then as you get better and your position gets mm -hmm. closer and tighter, right. you stop shooting those long shots. They can become more difficult because they're not in your wheelhouse as much. You I, don't, you're not. I understand, but how would how would you know that? Are you a junior national champion? Some would say. Oh, <laughs> let me get my Wikipedia out. Yeah, you like three times? I did. And VNEA? Times. Yeah, yeah. And BCA? Yeah. I got to pump my partner up because he's not going to tell you. I'm going to have to tell you that. <laughs> but uh, the knowledge in his booth is priceless. You can buy his DVD when I make it. <laughs> Coach Bo, coming, coming soon. <laughs> He took a little bit off that break, bro. Yep. He's he been sort of doing break. that little pop break where he yeah. tries to control the cue ball right. a bit. Um, if balls aren't going right off the bat, like the one or the or the corner ball, yeah, that sometimes doesn't work very well as far as pocketing the balls. 
He's going to push him right to the end rail. I, uh, he I, could have better spots yeah. than that. But. I, I think he's not going to like this return. Yeah. I think Joey cuts his ball in the side. I think he feels like he can. Yeah. He has a free shot at it. Yeah, I think it's pretty free. Not exactly free, but you right. know what I mean. I think the cue ball should naturally go on the right side of the six, too. So, How about that? Yeah. And uh, something that the juniors have to deal with, and that's stretching. Yeah, and for he's sure. gonna have to pull out the bridge on this shot. He's used to it. I'm a, okay. Yeah. You Q makers out there, I know you don't want to do it, but them 60 inch cues are gonna have to start coming into yep. effect. I think. <clears throat> and Joey looks better on the the bridge than uh, Joey's a sound. 95 percent of the people in the world. Yeah. Well, he's got some sort of safety here. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, he looks like he's going to trap it behind the seven. Yeah, I like the. So Eric's on the balls. He... He's going to check if he's elevated over this six. Looks like he's got a nice level cue. He's good to go here. The shot he's concerned with is getting from the five to the six here. And this is the, this is the angle right here. Right. He's perfect on this ball. It's and like I, a high cue <clears throat> ball, a little bit of left-hand spin, and you just got to control that spin off the cushion. Just like that. And the diamonds tend to play a little bit uh, tighter mm -hmm. than the gold crown, so I'm not sure exactly right. what he's used to playing on, but he's used to playing on a table with six pockets, I think. That's well, guess what? Yeah, that was a little fast. Yeah, that was a little fast, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I think that position sometimes, you're trying to run it yeah. into a ball, I think, you say that no, too. I, I think you have to do like what Sensei would do, put the weights above your head or the book on your head, and if you pop your head up, you, right, you right. run into it. Right, right. I heard Laurie John Hassan teaches like that. She puts like a big weight over your head, and if you jump up, you get hit. It's like a <laughs> bell ringing. Oh, toothpick. That's a oh, great idea. See, now I got, How about the, that? I got the inside Ooh. juice. You put a toothpick, toothpick. on your back. And it, right, it someone it holds it off. above your nose. Someone holds it above your neck, and if you get up, it pokes you in the back of the neck. <laughs> How great is that? A little, little, a little stab. How great is that? A walk the dog, man. You I will stop that getting up. Is I'm going to try that with my oh, well, one of my students. You probably have a... <laughs> Probably have to bring band aid. I'm gonna become a lawyer so you don't get a lawsuit. He <laughs> he, he rushed that shot, bro. Yep. He yep. rushed that shot. He's, not He's trying to play Eric that. speed. I think yeah. at this. I think he has right. to. He has to check. Eric's gonna cut this ball oh in the bank boy. shot. Boy, that's what they call Eric. Rushed. And he was watching it. You know what? That's important. He's you watching that. It's still again. down. I'm gonna steal something from you. Okay. You say. And sometimes you shoot the shot that's right for you. And that was it. Eric Roberts is now seizing his momentum. He's, yep. he's changing, making a pat, changing the mood of the game. You know? Yep. He said, I'm not going to go out playing safe. Right. I'm going to do what's best for me. Yep. And he hit a good shot. <clears throat> He's got a break. We got to score a three games to two. This is a race to six. Well, and yeah, it's a semifinals. Right All right. The official media uh, these sponsors. are our official media sponsors of the event, Pool and Billiards Magazine, Billiards Digest, Tony Fox Photography, who's been in here all week taking great Absolutely photos. Absolutely, Tony Fox. And On The Wire, Creative Media. Get wired up and fired up, baby. We've got Gold Level Partners, our Valley Billiards, TLP Billiards, mm -hmm. and Dr. Q Promotions. That's nice. Valley Pool Tables. Nice. Been around since I was born. All day. How about 1954? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and Eric, you see Eric, now that shot, he shot fast, but that was really, really, really controlled. Mm -hmm. He broke the balls up and put, make Joey make a tough decision. Yep. And that's what, I think that's how you move it. You know, I don't think he can play, I mean, he could try the billiard, but I don't think it's the right shot. Do you like shot. it? He's got, uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's funny, because they have a, when they rack the balls, there's like there's like that exchange that goes on oh, when you walk during the break. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you're like, like you're like make sure my stuff is tight. Little side eye. Make, <laughs> make sure my rack is tight there, sir. That's what gunslingers do when yeah. they come to your town. Because that is look part of the that competition. Look at that controlled kick, Bo wow. again. He, he looks like you. He looked that, like that you on his shot. Pretty, that was impressive. Now my man Joey Tate's gonna come with it. 
Yeah, he's got a shot through here. But see how fast he's playing? He has yeah. sped himself up. Yeah. And uh, I think that's just sort of natural, something that happens. I told you Joey was going to come with it. Oh, close. You got about a half a pocket there on that one, which is Rub plenty. Rubbin's racing. Yeah. High cue ball, one cushion mm -hmm. out just to get past the seven. And uh, things are open here. He's just concerned right now yeah. about getting on the right side of the four ball. How and he that? snudged it a little bit. Yep. He's going to be have troubles reaching this ball. I don't think he heard you. <laughs> Look like he's going it. Well, somebody build. Somebody build. Ron, I could shoot this shot exactly. with the bridge. So, exactly. Somebody <laughs> build this guy a uh, extension on that cube. Yeah. All right. He chalks the stick. Slightly elevated. Mm -hmm. And it's like you said. It's like you said, I think he just needs, once he takes a, a, another lesson with that bridge, he's going to be fantastic. Another inch forward, and he's just, this is just a tap out. Right now, he's looking to go two rails and come back up table. A very controlled shot, but he just needed, like what Bo says, he just needs that he extra two inches. Balls. He gets yeah. closer to those balls, and it's a dead out. And that could be just a visual. It's not even an execution. It's a visualization thing just before. How about the, that wow. Are you kidding? Wow. This kid is... Man. Yeah. All right. I told you we're gonna go back. I'm this gonna say, is seesaw. We're if going I back could be in there. Joey's corner right now, I would say play your pace. That doesn't mean it's slow. It doesn't mean it's fast. It's whatever it takes for you to get these balls down. Correct. He's gonna now the way to shoot this ball: shoot the seven ball in the side pocket and, and roll, roll right the cue the ball. Eight. Yeah, you yeah. roll the cue ball in right. between the side pocket and the and the um, and the chalk over there. Right. He got close he to where you want, thing, but right. you could even get. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Yes. A diamond closer. And it's a hanger for him, but Absolutely. he's not missing this ball. No, bro. no way. He is not missing no this way. ball. No way. And he pumped it in. Yes, he did. I, I told you, we, we're going to go. It's going to be like this. Boom. There we go. Straight through, and there it is. Official event sponsors, Presidential Billiards, Diamond Billiards Products, J. Peach Hour Custom Cues, Billiards Congress of America, FCI Billiards, Iwan Simonis, West State Billiards, Valley Tables, and TLP Billiards. TLP created the custom aluminum rack that you're looking at in front of you. Aircraft aluminum. How do you beat it? You don't. We've had very little problems with the racks yeah, it's been over the weekend. Well, one event and great equipment. Thank you, Diamond. Thank you, TLP. And our Q sponsors. Yeah. Q yeah. sponsors, yeah. Predator. Yes, yeah, sir. Peach Hour. Peach Hour custom cues. I think Peach Hour has, has more cues in this tournament than anybody. Oh, yeah. And you're looking at one right now. Absolutely. Joey Tate. And Peach Hour? Or Jacoby? Mm, Eric Roberts. I think Eric's oh, we're, a Peach Hour. We're wondering uh, what I think cue Eric's, Eric's playing with. I say Peach Hour. Yeah. Yeah. If you aren't, then you should. Absolutely. On myself, I've always played with a Predator since I was about 16. And, Rob, uh, what cue are you we're using? Gonna, we're going to switch. We want some sponsorships. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to play with a Hannah cue. <laughs> look at that. Safety. And look at that possible one nine. Oh, beautiful Run shot. Again. Cue I'm ball not, control at its I'm, finest. I'm not hitting the one. I'm hitting the nine. I'm going to hit. I'm kicking right at the nine, buddy. I'm kicking at the nine. You got to move that nine. Give yourself a chance to win. Maybe Joey doesn't play it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm shooting it. Of well, course you are. Yeah, because you got to get from the four to the five. Well, there's a care. lot of stuff you got to do here. If you, if there's any way you can play like a two-way shot, make try to make the nine and play a somewhat defensive shot. I'm going all day. I think Mike Massey's looking over there. He said I could probably make every one of these balls in one shot. <laughs> he probably could. Tennessee Tar. Oh, well, that's a great shot. I told that's you. a closer shot. I told you, Eric. Wow. Eric should have moved the nine ball. Oof. Forget about the one ball. Joey Tate with a 4-3 lead. This is a race to six. We're down to the wire. This is getting close. Yeah. And look for a cannonball from this kid. He's going to put some heat on yeah. it. See how composed Eric is? Yeah. There's a, there's a reason that he, that he was given the Brendan Crockett uh, uh, sportsmanship, sportsmanship award, award. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 
you, you don't see any the the whole no. weekend. I'm trying to picture myself. I'm I'm not that composed. <laughs> when I <laughs> <laughs> you did all right. You grew. I did. Into yeah, it. yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm learning. It took me 20 20 years to get to where Eric's at. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's okay. It's never too late. <laughs> and Ra, you you have that have yeah. that calm coolness. I hate losing. And I know you hate losing, but. Yeah, to be bicycle. able to keep your composure yeah. and not show emotion because while you're playing. Because it don't make a difference. If, if you play mad while you're a pool player, you're just a mad pool player. Yeah. I remember I played bow running, and I actually played pretty good. And I wanted to in smash ho- it. In Hollywood, <laughs> and, and then you put some, you put some world-class safeties on. But I, we wanted to. Yeah, we were yeah. playing strong. We, yeah, yeah, right? Great match, yeah. Because you, you told me, because you play a great safety game. And I even... Uh, I even got you a couple of times, but then you really put the next level on. I couldn't compete with you pocketing, but you you played stellar, <clears throat> as usual. Eric's left with a shot on the cushion here, and the ball that he's going to be concerned with is that 4-8. Okay, so run again. If I'm going to shoot this two ball, right? Yeah. He's got that nice lag speed. He can shoot the two, and and I don't. He don't want to jack himself up on a five, but yeah. he can nice nice slow Co- roll. Do a safety, yes, yeah. yeah. He's going with a high cue ball. Oh man. wow! Is, you know wow. what? I'm gonna say that's a professional. That is a professional thought shot. process, man. Thought I didn't process. even see he didn't that bunt. From there. Yeah, he did not bunt. He shot that ball that for what was it was worth. Clean. Oh, I'm scared. And he's got. I think he might have an angle to move the cue ball closer towards. You mean like him. Oh, that? Geez. You mean like oh, that? Oh please. You mean like that? Oh please. This kid. Is, this kid is on. So so run again next level. You, you freeze him on an eight, or you play the four six and get out. Oh man! After making those two monsters, he feels like he can make anything. It's right. going to be tough to slow down the train now. But but if the, he should, he might. You know, I'm not saying it's not right. the right shot. But if the four, if the fours have that weird angle, won't it go up towards the long rail if he doesn't play that straight pool style, right? Yeah, I think he playing the comp. If no, the I'm, I mean the combo. But oh. ooh, wow, that's TV yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah. Right. This this here, prep yourself up for something nasty. I'm not even going to get it. It's moving at the side. It's moving at the corner. Which one's going to go? Nobody. All right. Yeah, he, yeah, he did. He rushed that one a bit. Right? Yeah. Even for, for Eric, he has that. Yeah. They have. It seems like there's like that little fine, you yes. know, it isn't, it isn't, but like maybe a when couple seconds. When he watches this video, whoever's coaching him going to see, they're going to say, that's your pace. Right. That's your right. pace. Oh. <laughs> How'd Next like level, that fancy. Bump, right there. That was bump the nine, control the cue ball, move it off of the cushion. Now, from this angle, it looks like you could probably just go straight high cue ball, firm, and he'll play this three cushions. One, two. He got it, bump. Three. And on this diamond, he's he needed a little bit of inside, and he yeah. knew that. But he's, he's there. Yep. Now, you can go to the side or the corner. I think he's going to yeah, he's going to draw it back down table, force it. No. Conservative play, which I think is smart. Joey's racing through these racks here. You know what I mean? Joey Tate is no joke. Wow. Man. You better believe that. Wow. Five Man. games to three. That puts hill. Joey on the hill. Our silver partners here at the BEF event, Jay Helfert, Dr. Dave Elciatori, Jeremiah Gage, Bob Jewett, Brett Lewis, and Tom Rickabean. The individuals behind the scenes have been amazing this week. And uh, we want to show appreciation to them right here in the booth. Uh, OGB Architectural Millwork, Pool and Billiards Magazine, of course, Predator Cues, which I support myself, West State Billiards, Digi Q. So we got to check out that new, FCI Billiards. That new Digi Q. Yeah, we awesome. didn't even get a chance to check out the Digi. Well, we're going to get a private screen. You look like you're going to play this rail first. Oh. Oh, now this. Okay, let's see what's going to happen You see now here. what he did? That's what I was talking about before. He had an opportunity to freeze him on that A, just push that four over and don't shoot anything, uh-huh. and continue to shot. And that's what he played there. He played both. Right, right. This is you, – you, now, don't do oh, this. Look at this. I would shoot that eight away. Don't push it in there. Don't push it in there. Oh, he just No, lost now the game. he's on one foul. He just lost the game. Yeah, yeah. Now Eric just touches the cue ball. Yep. Right? You yeah. touch the cue ball, force Joey to break him up again. Look at, look at, he's just going to push. He knows it. Yeah, I mean, he knows it. Yeah. He knows it. Don't even touch it. You know what I mean? He wants to touch it just because he thinks he has to hit the four, but you don't have to. Oh, he's there it is. To... Smart move. Now, Joey Tate is on one foul, and uh, Eric Roberts is on one foul. This is three foul rule is in effect, so 
if Joey gets the three consecutive fouls, the game will be over. You just got to make this. He's not going to just make it. Here's what I like to do. Shoot the two, eight, one combo. Brings the two ball up table, and it forces him to, uh, you know, get some separation where he's got to go back down for the three for position. Oh, there's a bad shot. Know what I mean? Yeah. That's the only way to get out of this, unless you want to try some something uh, superstitious. Me, I just make the one. Yeah, but make it with the deuce. Yeah. Or if there's any way to tie the four ball up, which I don't really think there is, and and make the one. I mean, he's shooting the right shot here, but you could gonna, do a little he's, extra. But he's going to end up just making the one. right shot. He yeah. knew it. He knew it. That's yeah. smart play. Yeah, smart play. That's why I would just did in the beginning, just make it. Yeah, you gotta just make <laughs> it. Just make it. Now. Yeah, four goes. The four still goes by the pocket. Right. So uh, he's looking to run out here. The only what I what I want to see, I want to see the slow roll in Eric right here. Stay, stay, stay calm steady. like that. That's the Eric yeah, I want to see. Look at that beautiful shot right there. Now he's gonna get a little flat on this ball, so he probably will play rail first. He's just gonna float right down. Are you gonna, he could punch it over. Look Same sort of thing here. I want to be. I want to be a diamond away from that ball. Maybe a he's diamond. He's drilling this ball, bro. He's gonna drill that ball. Again, he does not. He's care. drilling that, that is ball, That is beautiful. Bro. Beautiful shot. Perfect speed control. His pace, center pocket. His pace right now. This is his winning pace. I'm telling you right now. This is what the That's sponsors. His winning this is what this is what the sponsors support for right here. Yes. He is doing his thing. Look at him, man. Bridge was a little wobbly on that say, shot. Was there was a slight. Too. A little wobble on that. Oh man, I thought Eric. Mm. He hasn't missed those balls in the last couple days. You know, no matter what happens, he's had a he great, had an awesome tournament. Yeah, great tournament. And you don't lose, you learn. He said he played, put his put his work in, and played every yes, day. Yes, he did. And Absolutely, he'll continue to do and that. And you can see and, the work. Yep, you can see the work. Come here at the Junior National, shoot a 950. You serious? Right. And Joey Tate obliterate every Dr. Q record. Incredible. Oh, yeah. The whole family sweating this match right now. You know, of both course. families are in here sweating of course, the match. As they should be. I think there's about five Tate kids here I'm at sweating. the event. They got a football team over there. And Joey and has Joey made the ball, down. and it's going to come back up table, and there it is. Great match by these young gentlemen. What are they? Is they going to seven? Going to six. Hey, Earl. Six. 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 Yeah. Well, Joey has six, right? Yeah. That's six. Six three. I'll check it. Six three. Yeah, six three. Six. Racer six. What is he not here? Six three. Six three. It's over. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's it, folks. Uh, we just had a little misunderstanding. They've yeah, been, that's okay. 